This is Dr. Mohammad Riaz, and in this lecture, you will learn five general type of mixed method design based on CRISPR 2005. These five design are convergent design, embedded design, exploratory design, explanatory design, and multi phase iterative design. Now we will discuss all these design one by one. Converging design. In a converging design, researchers collect both quantitative and qualitative data in parallel, usually at the same time and with respect to the same general research problem. The researcher gives similar or equal weight to the two types of data and strive for triangulation with the hope that analysis of both data set lead to similar conclusion about the phenomena under investigation. Next is embedded design. An embedded design is similar to converging design in that both quantitative and qualitative data are collected within the same journal time frame. However, one general approach dominates perhaps qualitative approach but more often a quantitative one with the other approach serving in a secondary supplementary role. For example, when planning a large scale survey of people attitude or opinion about a controversial topic. As a researcher, you might create a series of statements with which participants either agree or disagree at various points along a rating scale continuum. Within this general quantitative instrument, however, the searcher could embed several open end items in which participants explain their rating. Such qualitative data could help the searcher make better sense of the numerical finding. So, this is the embedded type of research. Next is exploratory design. An exploratory design typically encompass two phases. In phase one, as a researcher, you can use one or more qualitative method to get a general sense of characteristic phenomena or issue which are related to your topic of study. The qualitative data, perhaps from observation, interview or maybe both from observation and interview that provide basis for more systematic quantitative study in phase 2. For example, qualitative observation of phenomena in a real world setting my, my hypothesis to systematically test in experiment study are the result of a few instruments Interview might help the researcher develop a prepared question for questionnaire administered to a large, simple, and possibly also to determine important subgroup different to keep in mind when identify the phase two sample. Next uh, design is <coughs> explanatory design. 
lack explanatory design and explanatory design is usually a two phase process may in this case the quantitative phase come first more specifically phase 1 involves collecting considerable quantitative data perhaps in an experiment ex post facto study or survey however this phase yields only number for example percentage or average collecting qualitative data in phase 2 follow up for instant asking a sub sample of phase 1 participant to describe what they are thinking or feeling during an experiment intervention or to elaborate on their answer to survey question or they can help the researcher give greater substance and meaning to the number next is multi iterative design designing a multi iterative design include three or more phases with early one providing foundational data on which later phase can build the design is iterative in that at the searcher move back forth forth among quantitative and qualitative method <coughs> with each new body of data informing the conceptualization and implementation of substance phase multi phase iterative design have become an increasing comma in program like evaluation search that is in determining the efficacy of certain intervention program for instant imagine that a team of researcher want to evaluate the effectiveness of program created to reduce abuse in teenager who live in particular city the team might take step such as the following with step 2a with step and these steps are number 1 collect baseline quantitative regarding the current prevalences of illicit drug use in the city team is a population number 2 implement intervention program based on current theories and previous study number 3a collect subsequent quantitative data regarding illicit drug use in teen age who participate in the intervention or compare the data to those for control group of non participant next point then conduct qualitative interview of both program staff member and program participant to discover their view about the strength and weakness of the initial intervention then at the last make modification to the intervention program in an effort to improve its result collect follow up quantitative and qualitative at data with drugs used by program a participant staff member and their opinion about it ask if the necessity repeat step through the additional iteration and now i would like to share one other example of multiple phase iterative design which are common design based in research which is also known as an experiment an experiment design in which researcher in education technology and an other science apply existing knowledge and theories about human learning process to create effective <coughs> instructional program or curriculum 
As an example, imagine that researchers want to develop instructional software that can help middle school students learn how to control for confounding variable when conducting simple physics experiment. For example, say when determine what one or more variable like weight, length, and frequency rate at which pendulum swing back and forth. In developing a preliminary version of the software, the researcher draw on existing knowledge regarding the education strategy that have been empirically shown to enhance children's scientific reason skill. Then, as a researcher, you have a small sample of middle school use the software to swing a virtual pendulum while controlling for such factors as a weight, length, and height of initial drop. The researcher then quantitatively and qualitatively assess the student's subsequent ability to control for confounding variable in their computer-based experiment, for example, experiment in which student must determine what environment condition influence how fast sunflower grow and what factor affect a automobile fuel efficiency. After paying particular attention to the part of software that seem to have worked well and to those that have not, the searcher modify the program have become a second sample of student use eight the pro then he will repeat the data. So on uh, under ID a truly effective software program emerge. Thank you very much for listening the this lecture about the quantitative research method, I hope you, you will learn a lot, lot. If you like this lecture, please hit uh, my YouTube channel, subscribe it and hit the icon bell. Thank you very much for your time.